The components of an emergency oxygen delivery system include the oxygen cylinder, the multifunction regulator, oxygen hose or tubing, and various oxygen delivery masks. You should carry enough oxygen to be able to deliver oxygen first aid from the time of injury at the dive site until you can reach emergency medical services. This may require multiple oxygen cylinders or larger cylinders depending on your emergency response time and the location of the dive site. Portable oxygen cylinders can last up to an hour or more and some non-portable oxygen cylinders can last up to eight or more hours. The duration of oxygen supply varies based on the size of the oxygen cylinder, the flow rate, type of delivery device, and the demands of an injured diver. Cylinders are made of either steel or aluminum and are subject to periodic visual and hydrostatic testing. To minimize the risk of using an oxygen cylinder for an unintended purpose, Oxygen cylinders are color-coded and cylinder valves are designed so that other regulators are incompatible with non-medical oxygen cylinders. Ask your DAN instructor or contact DAN for more information about testing periods, color coding, and equipment compatibility. Oxygen regulators reduce the high pressure contained within the oxygen cylinder to a working pressure that can be provided to an injured diver. The multifunction regulator enables the rescuer to provide the highest concentrations of oxygen possible using demand or constant flow mask options and assist two injured divers simultaneously. The oxygen hose or tubing connects the oxygen regulator to the oxygen delivery mask and needs to be oxygen compatible. An oxygen delivery mask is placed on the injured diver's face and allows for delivery of supplemental oxygen. There are various oxygen delivery masks available. This program will show how to use different types for different situations. The demand inhalator valve mask works like a scuba regulator's second stage, providing up to 100% oxygen each time the injured diver inhales. Most injured divers are breathing and responsive. Dan developed this unique demand valve to provide high concentrations of oxygen in this situation. When a breathing injured diver isn't breathing deeply enough to activate a demand valve mask or won't tolerate one, Dan oxygen providers should use the non-rebreather mask. The non-rebreather mask delivers a constant flow of oxygen. It consists of a mask with three non-return valves, one on each side of the mask and one separating the mask and reservoir bag. These valves help to prevent air from diluting the oxygen. The bag valve mask, commonly referred to as a BVM, is a device that can provide rescue ventilations during CPR. It requires frequent practice or use to maintain proficiency and skill. A BVM consists of a compressible self-inflating bag and face mask, separated by a one-way non-rebreathing valve. The mask should be transparent to allow for the detection of vomit. An attached reservoir bag with an oxygen inlet allows for the delivery of a high concentration of oxygen when connected to an appropriate oxygen delivery system. When using a BVM, compression of the bag forces air through the valve and mask and into the patient. When the patient exhales, the expired air is diverted into the atmosphere rather than back into the bag. When the bag expands after compression, it pulls in oxygen from the reservoir bag through a one-way valve. As long as the amount of oxygen flowing into the reservoir bag is greater than the amount of air being delivered to the patient, the concentration of oxygen delivered to the patient should be near 100%. When using a BVM without attached oxygen, the oxygen concentration delivered is the same as in the available air. Another oxygen delivery device, similar to the demand inhalator valve, is the manually triggered ventilator. It is designed to provide ventilations for a non-breathing diver. The manually triggered ventilator, or just MTV, uses pressurized oxygen to deliver ventilations to a non-breathing patient. 
The device can also work as a demand valve for breathing divers and should be used on adults only. The MTV incorporates advanced design features to maximize ventilations and safeguard the patient. It features a peak flow rate of 100% oxygen at up to 40 liters per minute. A button that facilitates the use of both hands to maintain a mask seal when using the device an inspiratory pressure relief valve, an audible click when the relief valve is activated, and rugged materials in construction that allow for operation in extreme conditions.